Hey guys, Spray and Prey here, and welcome back to Europe and Universalis 4. Today we're going to be continuing our Let's Play as Astorius. As you can see, our quest to make the entire new world yellow is going very well. Um, there's no coastline that is uh, vulnerable anymore, um, except for this, which used to be Italy. I don't know why Italy is gone now. Um, that's actually kind of weird. Maybe they got eaten, but... Hmm. Very strange. France over here still being um, OP as ever. Have they westernized France? No, they're still Chinese. Same thing with Throngia. Holy crap, they have a lot of... Well, I think everybody has those imperialism except for... Well, France doesn't have the tech yet. That's weird that Throngia has such good tech. Anyways, we're going to keep on going here. Um, I think we're going to probably want to declare some more wars on the natives sometime soon. Maybe not right now, but definitely soon. Our colonies are just huge. Alright, so yeah, let's uh, let's kick it up into 5 speed. We actually got uh, defeated, embarrassingly enough, over here in uh, in Sweden, which I think was... Was that what just happened? I'm not sure. It's been a while. Anyways, we got a bunch of new trade fleets. Yeah, let's send them all over to Galicia. Maybe we can finally do that mission one day. Alright, but well we have to figure out how we're going to rally and beat this. Um, military access, sure. Sure. Well, just Byzantium really is who I wanted. I'll let them in. Are they fighting against Bhutan as well? No, they're fighting Tripoli and stuff. I don't know what that. why they would be bothering us with that then. Huh. Oh well. No plus three. That's sad. We could use the extra Diplo points. Especially because we're still annexing Gerle. Or Gelray. We actually might even be able to annex them or finish that today. That'd be cool. Okay. Uh, let's walk this army back over. Well, I want to drop a siege. Then we'll walk this over. Once it gets into our territory. Ooh, free stability or 50 prestige. Well, it doesn't matter because we're three stability, so I guess we might as well max our prestige out. Alright, he's running. That's fine. Um, so, are we are we planning on moving any more units over there? Uh, it looks like we do have quite an army over here, so... Maybe we're rebuilding, I don't remember. It's been it's been a while since I played this game. Send that up there, too. To the, uh, to the lowlands, lowlands. All right, let's get on the boat. All right, and this army looks like it's going to be fun to squish. Let's drop them off there. Now we can go get the rest of these guys. Yeah, we definitely are going to have a huge army that we can take and try to smash uh, Bhutan with. Excellent, a self-sustaining colony. Alright, let's get generals on both these guys, and we're going to go and attack here. Because we finished both those. Easy squish. Alright, let's uh, let's leave that guy behind. Or sorry, we want to take the big guy. Alright, and then they still have 90k over here, so... We're going to want to hurry up and get back up. Let me get back up over there. Oh, my transports. Did I just land them there? Oh no, they're already back there. Sweet. Alright. These 46 dudes are going to come in handy. I'm sure Bhutan's coming, yep. Where you want Pedro over there, because he's our greatest general. Excellent. Alright, they're going to stupidly divide their forces, it looks like. That's great for us. Let's send some more troops in there. Okay. Damn, they are killing us fast. Well, that's okay, we have more units than they do. What the fuck? I don't understand. They're goddamn super generals. Alright, look at this bullshit. Alright, six fire? Are you shitting me? Come on. 
That's like cheating. This is so dumb. Come on, Pedro. Vote for Pedro. Give me some good rolls here, buddy. We can't lose this. That was a good eight there at the end, bud. But my god, they killed a lot of us. Well, there goes our 112k manpower. At least last time they were kind enough to squish the army. But um, the good news is that they should probably they should get a, give us some give us a little bit of a break now. All right, send that there, and we can colonize there as well. Uh, we can do military tech. Sure, why not? It's gonna give us a little bit more infantry fire. I'm sure they were already tech 27. No, they're only tech 26, so we do have an advantage now. That's great. Uh, decline. Let's see. All right, we're gonna want to uh, full annex all these guys. Unfortunately, it's going to cost a bit of Diplo, but I think it's worth it. Oh no, these are free, because I think we use the Imperialism thing. That's nice. Alright, and then Chu. Wow, look at that. We are slowly going to make this 100% yellow. Let's go ahead and declare a war on them. Why not? Get our 18 stack over there. Why is this ours? Okay, there we go. It went over to Louisiana. Sweet. Alright. Oh yeah, they already have like 50 stack up there. And then Malaya probably doesn't have any allies either. So we can send our army over there, I guess, if, uh, if they want. Everybody except for that unit we can go attack Malaya. God frickin' damn it. They are always sneaking up on me over here. Alright, well at least we'll have one general in there. Alright, hopefully they'll be too stupid to attack us. Uh, what does it say we can do? Oh, we can just pick a new idea group altogether. I don't think we're going to be doing that anytime soon because our tech is time to go. <sighs> Send that one army over here to colonize that. Alright, uh, let's try to keep focusing over here, because if we keep losing these battles and stuff, we're going to get raped and lose the war, which is kind of going to be really annoying. Uh, okay, good. We, got, we have a lot of troops coming, though, so hopefully that will save us. Alright, I'm going to wait for them to attack me. What's the day they're going to attack? September 13th. Okay, let's play this really cool. Oh, finally, we did our mission. Yay! Own oh, Roma. Is this Rome? Oh. No, we have to go to Chachapuya. We have to fight them. I like this mission, though. Sure, yeah, we can do that. Alright, well, at least we got the mission now. So that's not going to go away or nothing. Alright, how's our annexation good? Uh, does it say how much longer it's going to be? Looks like uh, in just a few more seven years-ish. Alright, you still coming, so good. 18th, 9, 10, 11, alright, there we go. 
All right, he's committed. Now let's swap in a really good general. Uh, I'm just going to leave one siege guy unit here. Are you fucking me? How did he change his mind? You're not allowed to do that. You were one day away. That's cheating. Alright, fine. We'll chase him down then. We'll see who's really better. Alright, so their army has a lot less morale than we do, but they have a little bit better tactics and a little bit better discipline. Well, I guess, I don't know if it's, I don't really know how discipline works too much, so it could be considered way better. They have rolled a fucking 9 with their 6 fire. Fucking bitch. Well, our generals are pretty even, actually, so that's not the worst of it. Let's just roll some nice numbers here, please. 8, oh yes, dear Jesus baby, thank you. Oh god, what the f... Really? Was that 8 war score? Fine. Eat, 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 a, eat a facile object. Or Granada, they're allied with each other. Alright, good, we annexed them. So, there's only this guy over here who's even left alive. I'll make a... Oh. Well, since I think, yeah, because we just declared war in Granada and Transylvania. It's not going to be too happy about us declaring yet another war. Alright, so we're definitely going to win that, thank God. Um... Where are boats transports go? They're hiding over here. Okay. Let's get them back over to the lowlands. Alright. That was a hard fought battle, but we won. Now let's try to not make the same mistake again. And by letting our and by that I mean let our army, you know, like die. So definitely want to turn off Force March. We'll drop one siege, send them back. Drop one siege, send them back to safety, but we're going to keep our huge army up there. Same idea with these guys that are going to be coming. Uh, we're going to go reinforce those big armies so that it's less and less a chance to get them jumped on. I wonder why Holland has such a shitty supply limit. We should probably build up the fort then. Alright, let's drop these off in Skane. I probably can guarantee you that, that that is not how you pronounce it, but I'm sorry. I guess the Pueblo have a colony next to us somewhere? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so we can take just their capital. Yeah, we're going to have to take all these. And then their capital and... Wait, what about this? Is this them as well? Alright, well, we can take all other things that are over here. We just need to get more war score against uh, them through getting war score with Bhutan. Because right now, I think it's mostly 34 battles that we're really losing out war score from. Alright, so those 50 guys are almost here. 46, whatever. Excellent, Winnipeg is done. Uh, let's go ahead and send them here. Why not? Alright, good. It looks like uh, Louisiana is taking care of Granada and Transylvania for us. Alright, I guess we'll raise. We'll keep on doing war taxes. Why not? It's gonna stave off how much money we lose. And these armies are actually huge now because they've reinforced enough. Let's we'll go ahead and split them off into two then, and just spread out our sieges a little bit. And then, of course, we're just gonna keep an eye over here. And if anything fishy comes our way, then we know to contract and defend as such. Although I'm kind of curious as to where Bhutan's army is. They still have like a lot of units. Currently, right now, our military is at... We currently have 300,000. 
and then Bhutan has 80k left. So they still have that massive army, but that is their entire army, which is better than them having like a gazillion little things. Um, restrict it. Who cares about Pisa, like for real? No plus threes again? That's so sad. I guess we're going to get the trade efficiency guy. That's probably going to help us make some more money, so I don't think that that's too terrible. Still no Bhutan army over here. Just creeping me out. Let's see. We, I want to siege Stockholm so I can have my... Oh, there's, there's Bhutan army. Hello, Bhutan army. All right, now he's in an arc, and now he's going to go to... Really? I'm going to let him go, because... That's fine, May 17th. All right. Um, let's go get in there, then. Wow, he's really low morale. He must be, like, poor or something. What's Bhutan's manpower at? It's still got 96k manpower, so... That's going to suck. Because they're just going to be able to recreate those units easy. They may not have the money for it, and that may be why their money, their morale is so low. The good thing we saved at 15k, right? <laughs> it's more like we didn't really have anything else to spend it on. Alright, well now I know they only have like 40k that they can throw back at us right away. So let's go ahead and spread out a little bit and try to take over. Oh, there we go. There's that 40k that we were talking about. Alright, they're going to go to NARC. Alright, so what day are they going to get there? July 9th. Alright, so they did not go. Alright, so we're going to move in then. Good, looks like they're retreating. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, we can catch them up there. We can catch them up there. That would be so cool. If we caught them on the island. Alright, let's stay right here. Let's see where they go. Because if we can catch them on this island, that'd be great. Then we don't have to worry about their army for the rest of the game. I wonder what would happen if I moved a small army over there. If that would bait them into coming. Like, because I'd be fine with that. Canoct wants to do stuff. Oh wow, they actually would accept this. Hmm, do we want to do that? That's going to very much further our goal. Hmm. Does Bhutan have any colonies that we're worried about them having? Not really. Uh, I would like to steal Madagascar from them, but I don't feel like converting Madagascar. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to peace out, and we're going to go to war with uh, Chachapuya Ch Ch for Rome. And then we'll have all of the British Isles. Alright, let's get all our ships back over here to Galicia. We will organize them when we when they get there. Alright, and then as far as our armies go, let's get these guys down to the border. Yeah, we're still making hundreds of more units. And now that our reinforcements have gone away slightly, we're not actually taking those anymore. Yeah, we're not even, like, halfway to our force limit, so... I'll pay the ducats. I mean, I don't see why not. Alright, so as these armies sort of get here, I'm gonna have them go... and spread out.
All right, let's uh, let's split this guy up because he's still taking a lot of attrition. So who he's allied with Noop. That's a pretty big ally, especially because he's got Tyrol with the Gold Province. That's nice. Um, do do do. Let's go ahead. Let's see. Is there any ideas that we could we could do in administrative? Well, we should probably actually core those things first. Those are probably going to be expensive. Oh, that's going to be fun if there's uh, revolts there. All right, what's our? Oh wow, look at that negative revolt. Two hundred. That's ridiculous. All right, uh, let's declare war for take Roma. I think we're going to do this. Even though the mission gave us a specific cost of belly, I think we're going to do the different one. Alright, let's move into the mountains here because it's going to be a pain in the balls to get past those later. If we don't right now, or at least take them. Uh, Chachapuya, where are you? You got 100k units. Alright, we have way more than that over here right now, so I think we're good to go. Send a few more guys over there to help that. There we go, we won there. Whoa, 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 hey! They did not just route my 23k with 10k. That's like such a lie. They must have got there like on the exact day that they lost the fight too. Which is dumb. Alright, gonna drop these guys there. Do they take any penalty from this? Of course not. All right, let's get Pedro in there. Come on, guys. Hold out just a little bit longer. There we go. Nice. All right, let's get down here and just crush this other noob army. All right, and we can start moving in now. This is my house. And we can start crushing these little armies because those, those are going to just wreck the, uh, the manpower here. For uh, for these both of these guys, if they let us squish these armies, ooh, this army is gonna die. Uh, we've got a little bit of terrain and stuff, but that's okay. We will help by paying. All right, what is happening over here? That's not true. That's a lie. You lie. I think we just need to end siege these things. Whoops. Where's he going, Verona? Hmm. It's a pretty big army. I don't know if we're going to be able to get there in time. God damn it. And we're just going to keep losing that fight. I don't know. I mean... That's retarded. I can't believe he squished that army too. All right, well, Chachapuya, you you um, acquired the wrath of my doom stack. Yeah, I don't care if you have a general or not. My doom stack has come to kill you. And my infinite manpower, which has actually run out. But that's okay, we have a land, land force limit modifier, dude.
Yeah, I don't know where the fuck our army went. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if I played this very well. Although it does seem that Chachapuya maybe has a little bit of an army issue now as well. Oh well, we can we can do no wrong, all right? We have so many units. Or so much money, rather. Our units, you know, as you can see, they are dying left and right. I hate it when that happens, though, when you're like, you know, you keep moving armies in, and it's just like, one day after another, they just keep dying, and you just keep accidentally, like, because there's no way to stop it, because if you're, you're like, in the middle of sending more units in, then they just keep going and getting killed. Alright, well, at least all we, at least we did take a huge bite out of their manpower. Alright, you guys better frickin' last long enough. Yeah, there we go. Where did my 11k over there go? Are these the, uh, the marks? Okay, good. Uh, we could probably use a few more marks if they're there. There we go. I like how I was like, no, you can't do that. It's like, bitch, please. Alright. Let's go see where this guy's going. Alright, I think he's gonna go down to Lusania and stop. God damn, Italy's so long, they get like three end of the month bonuses. Alright, we gotta go over to LaGuardia. Alright, we got Lombardia. Let's go siege up Ferrara and Modena, because that'll stop them from being able to move up and down the peninsula. Get more units in there. Oh, we just got revolts. Great, that's exactly what I needed right now, is some revolts, too, to balance out the, you know, everything else that's fucking going wrong. <sighs> it's just that I've been unlazy. Ooh, look at that! It's a woman! It's a woman! Oh my god, finally there's a freaking woman advisor. I There may have been before, but I probably was just too stupid and didn't see. Alright, well, those English aren't going back anytime soon. Like, what the fuck? I mean, come on, that 50k... Ugh! If you don't look for like two seconds, it's just like, you're wrecked. I'll lose the prestige, thank you very much. Alright. Let's consolidate that regiment. Are you serious? I hate how the morale just like jumps, jumps around like that. All right, we're gonna go get over here to Modena before they take advantage of that small siege stack. All right, when are they gonna get there? Eighth. We we'll get there on the tenth. Here, let's let's force march it. We'll get there on the seventh. Oh my god, you gotta be fucking shitting me! Every time they move like one more unit in and then it's like gonna destroy my morale. Alright. What day are we gonna get there? 11th? I doubt we'll make it. I highly doubt we'll make it. Oh no we did! Sweet, thank you Jesus. Sweet baby Jesus. Alright, let's use this guy to go and try to kill things. I have no idea why there are 18 
cav here. But that is just a little shit ton of manpower that we could be using right now as opposed to waiting for that cav to decide to produce itself as well as it's free money. Alright, so let's get these guys. Alright, so we don't need any more new units unless it's mercenaries. Which we could always use more, more mercenaries. Alright, let's get all the uh, transports out of here. Alright, and then we're going to send this fleet over here to come blockade up uh, Chachapuya. And we're going to start the Siege of Rome as well. Alright, and now that we have some units to actually, or some manpower to reinforce with, hopefully we will have a good time. Alright, if we go and attack that with only 10, with their 10 dudes there, alright, yeah, they're running. Alright, so they're going to go to Modena. Alright, we should be able to catch at least one person there. Nope. Alright, I think we can catch him in Pisa. Really? Really? One day apart? What the fuck, Lombardia? Oh, there's like 20 units there only. I see. Alright, obviously they're not getting reinforced over here at all, which just kind of sucks. I don't know whether to rally and try to meet that army over there, or if we should do something else. Alright, send that guy there. Alright, well at least we can peace out with Morocco. And Transylvania. And then these guys. I, I'm really scared of what that said. I think we just lost another battle over here. No. Their two armies are still intact. So that's good. Uh, manpower is not really going that down. Or at least it's not going down as quickly as I thought it would. Alright, well let's, let's pull back and try to regroup a little bit here. And let's send these guys down there, see if we can't make it to Rome. Alright, looks like they're going to ignore that army. Great. Alright, they're only taking 1.3 attrition there. Split this guy in half. Uh, no mercenaries? Okay. I don't know why these armies aren't getting reinforced. It's really weird. They should be, right? Oh well. How many soldiers are there at this... Uh... When are they going to get there? July 27th? We're going to get out of there on July 27th. I don't think... Yeah, we're not going to make it out of that. Let's see if we can't get in there. No, that army's dead. Really? They had to get squished? They couldn't have let us pull out? That's so shitty. Alright, we're gonna get some artificial war score by blockading more. I don't know why I'm playing so shitty today, guys. I'm sorry. I'm also upset because these guys are going to come in and squish my new armies. Look at this shithead. He's like, oh, uh, I'm going to uh, siege Cuneo. 
Not really, though. I'm just gonna stand here and kill anything that moves. Why are we fighting against Canoct? Oh! Canoct is already against us again, so that's great. We can actually just go take their capital. Well, that works out now, doesn't it? I'm gonna negotiate, unfortunately. Why are these thinking so long to build? I guess because they're... Oh, fuck! Are you kidding me? That really had to be the rally point? I don't think it is. I think it's Nice is the rally point, but still. It's not helping. <laughs> But we shouldn't, I don't know why we're not getting any more war score. It's probably because the negative um, war score that's being produced by the uh, by the fact that they still hold the uh, their their province that they're supposed to hold. Let's, let's get the fuck off of me, oh my god. Jesus Christ, those assholes. No, well there, there goes a thousand manpower, thank you game. And there's a real kick in the nuts that I needed. It's okay, Astoria's strunk. You see how they're not even trying to come and fight us? They're like, uh, yeah, we, you guys can siege Rome, do the fuck you want. We're gonna try to siege you, but obviously that doesn't matter, because Rome is the war goal. Alright, I think this army would- I think I have- I'm gonna have to take that up to New England- or New- or not in New England, but you know what I mean. Alright, they'd siege back Lombardia. We're gonna get Rome, though, so big whoop, right? It's too bad none of our um, none of our colonies can send their armies over here, really. Well, it's not that they can't, they just refuse to. And it's too bad we can't pull manpower out of our ass, isn't it? Anyways, guys, I'm hopeful unfortunately we're gonna have to leave it on that note because yeah, we're gonna probably we're not gonna finish this war right now. Um I guess we could take these guys. Let's get those units up here. Um where, where are they going? Yeah. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's get those units. Actually, we're gonna take them over to to deal with the uh, the English. Yeah. So that that works out, and then we'll get Jerle soon. Um, how far are we done annexing them? So actually, only a few more years. That'll be cool. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Spray and pray out.